do it. And I think prevent unwanted audio so we can mute arena sounds. Okay. If you want to mute the No, that's J that's that's James Hinkin. Um, but everything should be good. So now it's on. Now it's on.
Vince Larkin, Dan O'Leary live. University of California, Santa Cruz Rugby Football Club versus the uh, Santa Clara UCD touring side in a big night match. This is the first big night match. I don't know, Dan, if this is the match of the year. They may have had something when they went down to UCLA earlier in the year, but it is rugby night in America. <laughs> yeah. Dan O'Leary, Vince Larkin. Yes, it is. It is a wonderful night, A probably about nice balmy 55 degrees here in santa clara and i'll tell you nothing warms the heart like some rugby under the lights we're about nine minutes off from kickoff uh both teams are on the field getting their last warm-ups in um and we're going to walk you through the starting 15 for uc santa cruz right now vince if you want to take us away we got sue abraham uh we have uh zev Rimalano, we got Matteo Holgin, Oliver Winkler, Jefferson Pugh, the second, Joe Bobby Simmons, Martin Kennedy, Jackson Zabiriak, Martin Gutierrez, Luke Sullivan, Jeremy Fuller, Diego Logan, Ian Rivera, Aurelius Cummings, and Bodie Dallas. And also, uh, that's the top 15, and we got some guys who are going to see some time as well. Uh, Mateus Calvet, Max Saints, Cole Margaret, Xander Dumont, Paris Duarte, Ian Armanda, Ryan Tremble, and Alex Raymond. Wonderful, wonderful. Shaping up to be a great match here. Uh, we got nice conditions uh, super fast field uh, hopefully score a load of tries on either side for whoever you are uh, supporting um, and if you're supporting Santa Clara they have their starting 15 here now Vince if you want to take us through those Abraham Solorio Matt Andre Will Pascal Benji Rogers Patrick Barnett Dante Black John Paul Krause, Kevin Doan, Emmanuel Lai is the captain, Sam Wheeler, Sean Redenack, Ben Voltz, Aiden Serafin, Gabe Hull, and Galen Denenberg. Wonderful, wonderful. Now, you rode your bike here from the train. I, I did. I took did the you? big smoke, took the big train. <laughs> Caltrain. There's not a train. There used to be a train from Santa Cruz to here. I don't know. I, I think it's it's become a bus. Mm, right, right. <laughs> 17 Express for those those at home. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there used to be a great train that the kids could get on the train and you know, Stanford and Santa Clara and take the train over to the to the boardwalk. But those days are long gone. No, oh, not <laughs> so long. <laughs> I hope you had a chance to see all the wonderful facilities here at Santa Clara. Um, it, it really is a top-notch university out here, and uh, hopefully uh, we have a top-notch game as well. Oh yeah, it's 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 just it's just beautiful here. I mean, we are in the heart of the Silicon Valley, mm. and uh, this place is just pristine. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you can see all the. Uh, we are right in the center of the where you know all of the the um, dynamic uh, high-tech companies come from mm -hmm. and you can the airport is not that far away we we're just talking about the planes flying over uh, you might hear a couple 737s yes. operated by southwest uh coming <laughs> through the broadcast uh hopefully that doesn't take away from the experience that we're gonna have today that's right san jose international airport is not that far away SJO, S flying into the big SJO. We got a Via Stadium not that far, and of course Levi Stadium. I think is around the corner. Mm -hmm. I think the Sharks are playing tonight, which is down the street. So, mm -hmm. in a hockey game. So it's uh, this is the sports capital of the world right now. Be night in America. All eyes on <laughs> this pitch. Truly, looks like uh, we're getting close here to game time. Santa Clara is. All out on the field. They got their starting 15 out there. UC Santa Cruz is just 
warming themselves up, getting themselves ready to get out there. And uh, Santa Clara, like Santa Cruz, uh, were, were BC last year in that sevens, in those seven matches that Santa Cruz did so great in. And uh, so there's a there's similar sides in a way. Both defeated uh, Sacramento State mm -hmm. just recently. Yeah, true. Uh, so, uh, and I think uh, Santa Clara is going to have to deal with Cal Poly uh, mm -hmm. soon, which which was a, it was a tough tough go last week for the Slugs uh, yeah. hosting Cal Poly. Yeah, they, wasn't got, it? they got the worst end of that one, uh, fortunately, but. Hopefully, uh, we'll see some big games from Lucy's and Clue Six going by the name of Body Bags. <laughs> That's right. Number six, Joe Body Body Bags Simmons. He is, he is quite a player. He is completely focused on the game. He did not just stop by the broadcast booth <laughs> in any way. Um, we got some last prep preparations as I've been stalling for uh, the last few minutes. Um, Santa Cruz is off camera, getting some quick hits on the bags. Um, and I think it would be a good actually to give a shout out to our men in pink and red right. today. We have as our main center judge, Tim Liu. Mm -hmm. And on the far sideline, we're going to have James Hankin as his assistant ref. And also on this sideline, we have a fill-in ref, Sam, from uh, Santa Clara, who yeah. have nicely provided a extra body. For yeah, Sam Mullard is joining the crew tonight, which nice. is great because uh, uh, Dennis Freitas is uh, under the weather. Mm. That, that great Sarah alum uh, played here years ago is, uh, is not feeling well. We wish him well, so I think he got wiped out calling those or doing those uh women games at Ford Ward and then the in the in the rain mm. and then the uh against Monterey Bay which was a big win for the Santa Cruz men mm -hmm. and uh in the in the rain there that rainy weekend those two rainy weekends we had mm. it'll take a toll on anyone yes uh, sir. yeah it's yeah. on so coming close to kickoff now We've got Santa Clara in white. They're going to be kicking downfield to UC Santa Cruz in the dark blue and gold. Waiting for Tim Lou's expectant whistle. He's given the count. Right now, I could never count up to 15 myself when I was captain, so thankfully the ref is there to do it for me. Let's go, Benji! Jackson giving the go-ahead. Kick coming. Much fanfare. Hanging high. That's a great kick. Looks like Santa Clara has recovered this one. Coming off hot. Nice runner, gaining some yards. They're showing numbers right, Santa Clara, if they choose to come back strong side on this. Some good, clean hits so far from the start. Working it through the forwards, Santa Clara is. And we got a penalty. Go, boys! Taken quickly by Santa Clara. He's looking to get something going here. Oh, and stolen, pickpocketed. And it's a, it's a penalty to Santa Cruz. That was a quick turn of uh, fortunes Man. there. We got another oh, it looks like we have a player. There. Looks yeah. have an injury. Uh, down. down. Uh, Santa High Cruz tackle. player is down. And, uh, yeah, Chris. E. Well, it looks like it might be a scrum half here down for Santa Cruz. That's unfortunate with uh, Martin Gutierrez. He's a Daylin. very important member Watch of... Uh, not just the back line, but Santa Cruz's game plan. He really is. Playing number nine, mm -hmm. Martin Gutierrez, uh, just a, a real inspirational leader for the team. Mm -hmm. And uh, oh, uh, he's yeah. had a great season so far. Oh, yeah. so, no, stop it for like ref is giving us time. Time Let's off go, here from the ref. <laughs> Let's 
Well, yeah. from the start, Santa Clara was uh, firing on all cylinders there. They had quick rucks, ball out cleanly. They put it through the hands on the far sideline, and it looked really like they were going to get, some, get, get something going on that one. Um, took that penalty quick, didn't see what the ref had called, but uh, through just one little errant pass uh, at the end there, and Santa Cruz uh, leapt at the opportunity. There's a Santa Clara trainer who was helping the, the uh, players tape up uh, before uh, the uh, match tonight. Let's go, and boys! She's out there uh, helping him. He is up and uh, walking off the field uh, with with assistance, which is yeah. which is good. Now he's walking off, which is uh, it's certainly relieving. It's yeah, it's tough when you're a player in that situation. You really want to try to get up, um, as it's just you know moments into the game um but sometimes you know the body knows best as santa cruz tries to find touch here which they do got our got our first line out of the game here hang in there bro. let's get it up real quick let's see if santa cruz can collect this and maybe look to run it out or just Clear it out of their own 22. Oh, it looks like they're a little bit outside of their 22. My mistake. Tim Lou in the pink, making sure everything's working. Out. Let's go, baby! Working through the forwards really well. Playing some champagne rugby right now. They're over there in the corner, held up. Rocks formed, and it's a penalty to Santa Clara. Are they going to take it quickly again? They are. They're, they're trying to get it in. Tim Lou has called our first try of the game for Santa Clara. Let's go, boys! That was just uh, persistence from Santa Clara. That was uh, we do, we do, we do. a big physical uh, uh, try there. It was. Santa Cruz sometimes starts slow and then and then can come back. So uh, uh, it'll be interesting to see. We're going to test the uh, the Bronco kicking game. See how they are with this conversions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, over on the far side. Need another one, boys! Oh, well struck. Yeah! Go, Joe! Go, Joe! Yeah. It was Evan. All good. So, Santa Cruz looking to recover from that. Maybe thump it deep into Santa Clara's territory and try to apply some pressure on them now. Ready up! Watch left, watch left. Taking well, they're going to try to spy here. Put it through the hands, perhaps. Wrapped up in midfield by Santa Cruz. Big carry, big strong carry by a type five there. Yeah, Santa Clara is just playing on, surgical rugby right now. Getting big, strong carries through their forward and always making those second passes. Yes, Pat! Go on, Pat! Offload there, taking the ground by the fullback. Ooh, flash pass there. What? What? They got numbers here on the right. Hopefully they can find fruition. Put it through the hands. Or show and go from their wing. Oh, 
dummy pass from the scrum half there. He's trying to get over the line. Got ourselves a little mall here. Is he able to fall over and get it? We're held up inside the try zone area. We're coming for a Santa Cruz scrum. Let's go, Sean. Good take. Let's see if Santa Cruz can clear this. Not a scrub. Pass does not find touch, or kick does not find touch. And Santa Clara's got the numbers. Can they put it through their hands? Thank you. Over for Santa Clara's second try of the game. It's tough to not get on myself on uh, a couple quick tries like that. Yeah, they're really making a statement. And uh, Santa Cruz find their uh, their legs here, and uh, Santa Cruz not really letting him breathe at all. Santa Clara not letting Santa Cruz breathe at all. Mm -hmm. uh, just coming right back on the counter. Mm -hmm. Their counter's so quick, the line out's so quick. Mm -hmm. uh, as, as you said, it's champagne rugby for, for the Broncos. <laughs> yeah, it? yeah. If you're a Santa Clara yeah. fan, you are thrilled at the start of this game and the kick is good from the uh, probably maybe 10 meters in from oh, that far sideline. Yeah. Yeah. So right now if you're Santa Cruz you're looking to hang that ball up in the air maybe get underneath it um, if not try to lay you know hopefully a big hit and try to remind Santa Clara that you know you're actually playing in a rugby game it's not just <laughs> Uh, uh, non-opposition uh, practice right now. So we got a high ball here. Let's see if we can get under it. Taken cleanly by Santa Clara and they're over it in numbers. They want to run with it. They're gonna they're gonna have some fun with it. Yeah, just loads of pressure here from Santa Clara. Got a knock on here, possibly, unless he's gonna go straight out. We're going line out to Santa Clara on the far sideline. Head referee Tim Liu having a little chat with Santa Cruz captain number eight Jackson. Probably asking him for hair care techniques. That mullet <laughs> is flowing at the moment. Well taken by Santa Clara. Not so. It is it it, it is a mullet that would make Barry Melrose proud. <laughs> it, it's like uh, it's, put this kid on Come skates. Come on, boys! <laughs> if he's from Minnesota, I mean, it's like uh, it's unbelievable. Yeah. <laughs> making a real statement mm -hmm. in his rugby get, rugby match. He's had, a, he's had a great match against Davis. Mm -hmm. uh, that mullet was flying then, so <laughs> hopefully uh, the power of the mullet can come back and help the mm -hmm. banana slugs tonight. It does look as well that no, watch back, watch Martin back. Gutierrez, the scrum half for Santa Cruz, is back in the game, uh, came off, wasn't sure what he had, some sort of lower body injury, but he's watch back, back. can have a little bit of an impact as we scrum down for the first time this game. Go, go, lads, let's go! Let's go, boys! 12 zero, not insurmountable. We've seen larger leads, but, uh, you know. These are the first real big scrums we've had of this match. Santa Clara getting a push on there, but Santa Cruz able to get it out cleanly. Who's looking for a spark here? And Clara coming up quick. Yes, Sika! Spinning out of a couple tackles there. It's Martin Gutierrez. He's back in the action real quick. 
looking to get something going towards now. Santa Cruz is, is their first sustained period of ball in hand play. And Santa Clara is coming up quick. Oh, yes! Oh! Ref is calling a high tackle on that one. Santa Cruz can maybe gain some territory here. Get it out to touch. Get a little bit of this pressure off their back. Good touch finder. About 45 yard line, 45 meter line. Line out to Santa Cruz. Hopefully they can uh, translate this into something. Maybe find a hole in the back line. Put somebody through because right now they uh, they're in the they're in need of a look about 12 minutes into the game. Yeah, they've pretty much been on, uh, on their their heels so far in this match. But mm -hmm. uh, hopefully, as you say, you know, advancing that ball down the field and uh, putting some counter pressure on the Broncos mm -hmm. uh, because. Uh, and we do have another rib injury. The trainer uh, has been called out and is uh, working with a Santa Cruz player. Mm -hmm. uh, looks like maybe possibly a rib mm -hmm. type of thing. Captain and, uh, Jackson, Action Jackson, yeah. unfortunately down. So Santa Cruz players have to uh, find a little bit of reserve right now. They gotta they gotta dig a little deeper than uh, what they're currently accessing. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And, um, did bring a, a, a full uh, full platoon for tonight's match. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're gonna see how the reserves, how this, that bench. She's yeah, gonna, they're he's gonna utilize getting that bench. getting used a little earlier than would have would have liked to. Right. But we have the same time back on, and we come back to that. <sighs> Ooh. Have a little set piece play here. Get it into Lucy's hands. And they got numbers out left. Hopefully they can use them. A little show and go there from the inside center. Short takes here through the forwards. He's got his feet. <laughs> He's got his pocket picked on that one by Santa Clara, who have the ball back in hand. And they're going to try to, oh, back to Santa Cruz. Got lots of changing ball right now. Santa Cruz looking to slow it down, maybe get their feet underneath. Some pick and goes. Gaining some hard battle of the psalm like yards right here. Oh, now we got some pace. Now we got, now we got some holes. Maybe he can put his ears back. He's pinned him down. He's going for the corner. He wants it. He's got it. Wow, that is a tremendous run. Tremendous try from Santa Cruz. A great answer back to those first two tries. So, wow. so Santa Cruz responds now, and uh, uh, they are on the board. Yeah, let's see if we can translate this kick here. Uh, but... That little passage of play will give Santa Cruz uh, a little bit, uh, considering that uh, they looked like they were pretty close to losing that ball there. Um, had a couple quick turnovers uh, uh, on our side of the side of the yard here, but uh, just a couple picks and goes, got their confidence up, uh, send it out quick through the hands to the backs, found a hole, and took it home. Kick is no good. Just short there of the bar mm -hmm. from the corner. It's got a score of 12 to 5. Santa Clara University in the lead right now with about 14 minutes off the clock. Santa Clara kick. I'm sure you can hear at home there's a lot of impassioned voices. We are in the midst of the <laughs> sideline uh, crews. Uh, we got plenty of Santa Clara shouters and plenty of Santa Cruz screamers as well. That doesn't That's not 10! That's 10! That Woo! Fuck! Go 10. So we are coming back for a scrum cruise. Big scrum. Jackson is taped up and uh, is 
been taped up by that set by their trainer. And yeah, I don't know if you were watching Vince, but he's taped from about his right knee to his nipple right now. He, he is about 90% tape, I think. <laughs> we got a big body coming in for a scrum right now. Uh, this is our second scrum of the day. The first one went to Santa Cruz, uh, exactly center, midfield. Santa Cruz has backs out to the left and right. We'll see what they want to do with this. Santa Clara is matching up man for man. You're talking in a pre-show uh, to Jeremy uh, uh, Lancer, the uh, Santa Cruz uh, head coach, and he was saying he felt that from a scrum perspective, Santa Cruz has an advantage tonight. Yeah, they, he was uh, speaking more towards wanting to assert some early dominance, some, mm -hmm. some easy dominance there. Um, uh, as last week uh, versus Cal Poly, they were uh, put on skates. They were pushed back uh, at a lot of the scrums, um, and it was a real mess trying to get the ball out uh, from the back uh, when they did. Um, so Jeremy was saying that they put uh, a good amount of emphasis on that in practice this week. Well, so far, Coach Sanford seems to be uh, correct because they, they seem to be asserting the dominance. It seems like... Uh, oh, Santa full arm penalty to Santa Cruz. He's calling offside on that. Perhaps it was an off early of the scrum. Let's see if they can find touch here. They do. An easy 15 meters gain there for Santa Cruz. Let's see if they can uh, collect this ball from the line out and maybe have another jog with it. Yeah, speaking to uh, uh, what Coach Sanford wanted to do this week, uh, he also spoke towards uh, just continuing with continuity. Um, and oh, boys, I'll line out! Uh, fix the line and uh, compress it uh, when on the attack as Santa Cruz takes it from the line out. Tim is coming back saying that that was offside. That was an offsides call on Santa Clara there from the line out. And he's having a little chat with the captain from Santa Clara now. Probably saying, I know you guys want to get up quick. I know you guys some hits, but then then's the rules. Max. That's a long chat. That's a long chat. Tim Lou with the captain there <laughs> of Santa Clara. It's a learning moment, I think, for, yeah. for, uh, for everyone there. <laughs> yeah, look, I don't... These great student athletes. <laughs> I'm not Two great I universities. Would've, I would have taken a lot from that diatribe from Tim. <laughs> Santa Cruz putting it into the hands of a big man there. Crashing it up. <laughs> Handle cleanly. They got numbers on the left here if they decide to back home. He gives him, he's looking for some support there on the far sideline. Looks like he was taken into touch by Santa Clara. Well defended by Santa Clara on the far touch line. Top dog. Now, I don't know about. You, Vince, would have gone for points on that last uh, on the last penalty there for Santa yes! Cruz, but I'm a little more conservative. Go, Dad! Uh, field time. Oh, didn't look where he was patting the fine touch. Santa Cruz line up. That was a chance. That they had a, a two-man overlap. They were there coming. On the edge. They were coming. Yeah. They were really coming. On the counter there, that was. Yeah, uh, I saw. I thought they were going to. We were coming run, right, run right at us. Over our table. Coming right yeah, at us. But I know you would have been ready. I know you'd have been ready, Dan. I, I, I saw you play <laughs> in that uh, old timers match against the university side, uh, and I, I was proud of my golf game, but I was proud of your rugby match because <laughs> you were everywhere. You were everywhere uh, last. Uh, Last May, that was wonderful. Yeah, well, and now I can, and I'm, I couldn't believe that my broadcast partner was just—he <laughs> was all over the field. It was amazing. Oh, you were too kind, Vince. That was uh, just a matter of not having enough people, and I was 
the lone man, <laughs> lone gunman out there on the field. <laughs> Somebody had to do it. But uh, uh, this, this is a call to any other alumni watching the stream that uh, we will be having another alumni game this May. Uh, Memorial Day weekend is when we usually have it. Uh, would love to see you out there instead of me getting my head pummeled into the ground like it was last May. It was, it was great. Plus, you played in the golf tournament. <laughs> I, oh, no, I didn't. I would have been a caddy. I, I, don't, I can't. I, I, I swing, and the ball does not look <laughs> Yeah, I lose more balls uh, out there than on this field, certainly. All right, we're coming back to a Santa Cruz square, maybe about 30, 35 meters out from Santa Clara's Watch pick! try line. Let's see what we can do here. Santa Clara with a nice push on that, turn in the scrum. Tim doesn't see anything wrong with it. Pick from the eight into the waiting arms of a Santa Clara defender. Yes, he does! From half thought he saw something. Fortunately, didn't have anywhere to go. Santa Clara whitewashed him on that one. Tim's blowing us up here. He's got something to say. Knocked forward by Santa Clara. Scrum down to Santa Cruz. <laughs> About 22 minutes in, still touch and go affair, close game, one score game. Um, Santa Cruz hoping to do something, this set piece play here. Santa Clara matched up man for man. Santa Clara again getting a huge push in the scrum. Santa Clara reading this play well, and they got a the great defensive line, Santa Clara. They are ready for whatever Santa Cruz brings up to them. Oof, big bodies. Well taken by Santa Clara, though. Yes! Who was that? It was, it was Pascal. Yes. Vince yeah. Santa Clara are hitting them behind the gain line almost every single yes, time. Yes, Benji! Santa Cruz has to try to do something here to find a hole, get a second pass on, something. Yeah, just getting marched backwards yeah. right now. And it's stolen. That's a that's a clean, well stolen ball by Santa Clara, and, and he's off to the races. Oh, oh. And, and, and. Yeah. Santa Clara's done that a couple times tonight. They did that earlier in the game, mm -hmm. and uh, it's quite quite effective. Yeah. But as you say, they're just Santa Cruz is. It's almost like they're pushing them back. Mm -hmm. Santa Cruz trying desperately to get some yardage there, uh -huh. move that ball forward. Yeah, but nothing happened. And just Good. big red and white wall. Good. So another big scrum here. Santa Clara has been getting a getting a big heave on, big shove on these scrums. Got a big type five. Looking to get a turnover here that they can translate into points. It looks like they've, they've won that ball. Let's like go! Santa Clara's go, go, won that go. ball. They're gonna try to go win with it. Let's see if this wing can make something out of none here. And he's got a little bit of a jog on. Tim saying, play on. let's play this game. Flash and weak. They've got numbers. Great pass to get him through. The center is. Oh, uh, dropped it on the goal line. Unfortunate. Very promising counter attack. Clara. Was, they were right there. Um, again, they're knocking on the door. Mm -hmm. They love that uh, that corner. Uh, they, they really love that uh, that corner along our side, the Santa Cruz uh, team sidelines. Mm -hmm. uh, they've been very uh, Santa uh, Santa uh, Santa Cruz and Santa Clara. Their big scrum, not far from the try line here. Mm -hmm. About five meters out. Santa Cruz hopefully hoping to get this back.
quick and cleanly, put it to the boot, give themselves a little breathing room. Santa Clara wants to do every stop that. They want to keep them bottled up here within their own five. They're going to try to chase this kick down. Go die! A little Aaron kick. This 15 is going to take it, and he's going to have a little jog. Let's see what he can do with it. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. He's found a hole, and he got a seam. He's in there. Try. Come on. Try Oh, looks like the touch judge has seen something. He's having a quick chat with the head referee. And he's officially a try. Yeah, they didn't have to go to the TMO uh, <laughs> no. on that one. They're going to come back uh, to us, and we're going to give a little <laughs> thumbs up. We're going to say, yeah, that was fine. <laughs> look, and they didn't come up and look at the TMO like they do at the Six Nations. I was going to hold it for a try. <laughs> 17 to 5, the Broncos. Mm, that is their Over the banana slugs. Third try of the day. Yeah, just uh, a kick that couldn't quite find touch uh, on that clearing kick. Yeah. And uh, into the waiting arms of the fullback who found himself a seam through the line on, a, on maybe a little bit of a, uh, a lazy run up on the, on the slug back line. Um, and when that happens, when you just don't have everything connected as the kick through, it's good. Nice kick. Uh, when you come up ragtag like that, uh, there are bound to be holes, and a, and a good team like that will sniff them out, you know, like a beagle with a fox for our English fan, our English <laughs> listeners and viewers at home. That's right. Our viewers from Twickenham yeah, who are exactly. watching. Yes. Uh, good day. <laughs> Vince Lark and Dan O'Leary live, Saturday night, We're rugby night in America. 27 minutes into this game now. Whoa. Oh, sir! A little, a little said, Come no, on. that's fine. Come on, Come on, Will. Oh, yeah, Santa Clara just working that second pass with the forward pod, and it's just a absolute beaut. It, it really focuses the point of attack. Oh, God! Oh, God. Got the Praise God! 15 again into Look the line. Up. Gives a short one to the scrum yes! half and the scrum yes! half is taken just short of the line. Oh, yes, 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 Try Santa Clara. Yeah, Santa Clara standing on the gas right now. Let's go, E! I can't, I can't even remember, Vince, what happened on that. I was laughing at our little <laughs> English exchange. <laughs> Meanwhile, Santa, Cl Santa Clara is putting on a, a little bit of a counterattack clinic out there. Yeah, they really are. And they are now two for three on conversions. So let's see how they do with this. Their kicking game seems pretty efficient. Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> pretty rare to see uh, eight-man feeling kicks. but uh, yeah. Another good one. one. 20. Yeah, so three for four on kicks yes, today. Yes, boy! And again, this is uh, 26 Santa Clara. I like that, Anton! DC Welcome Santa back, baby! Five. <laughs> what a fucking jog. Santa Cruz jogging up here. You want to try to get any sort of spark. You want to put your hand up and say, this is my ball, this is my hit, I want it. Um, hopefully somebody on the squad is uh, feeling that burn, feeling that fire right now. Collected by Santa Clara, taken into contact, oh, he's still, and a good pop. He's, go on, Vince! And he's still got his feet on him, and another Let's great go! offload there from Santa Clara. <laughs> Try saved and tackled by yeah, Santa Cruz. Here nice. they come. They gotta, they gotta find their line again, and it's a penalty to Santa. Cruz. Not releasing the ball on the ground. So right now. If you're the captain, if you're the person kicking the ball out, you want to say, let's take a breath, let's mm -hmm. compose ourselves, let's try to get something going here, let's get some, let's get some forward football. 
Come on, Seeker, get active. Get active. Uh, he saved himself. He's going to be fresh with these eyes. Why the fuck did he go to that? Vince Lark and Dan O'Leary. Santa Clara University touring side 26. University of California. Santa Cruz Rugby Football Club 5. A proud 5, though. Very proud 5 points. Santa Cruz not putting anybody up on that. Santa Clara easily takes it. And they're attacking the line with pace right now. Getting clean ball. Another try, Santa Clara. Oh my God. Big, big heavy runs from Santa Clara at the moment. And they, uh, they've got the tails up. Yeah, right Ben! Yeah, uh, running, running downhill you know, you at the moment. You can hear that pop from where we were. Yeah. That midfield just kept going. Looking for another conversion here. Yeah. That was through the sticks. Yeah. Score is Santa Clara University Broncos 33, UC Santa Cruz Banana Slugs 5. Well, not okay, but alive. All right, so <laughs> something we're familiar with, Vince, is a UC Santa Cruz kickoff. Let's see uh, if we can um, get something going here. Get maybe a hand on a ball. Yeah. Maybe try to milk a penalty from something. But right now, Santa Clara oh. really just play, it, play, it, play, it. play, doing play, play. Whatever they want to do out there. Sort of that knock on. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Big scrum, Santa Cruz. You know, have a look at the guys around you. Say, you know, we're in this at the moment. Half halftime horn isn't coming anytime soon, no, so we it's gotta not. really. Uh, yeah. They really gotta look to each other yeah, for reach some kind of energy. They really and, uh, grab a hold of ourselves and figure out why we're actually out here. <laughs> Very tough right now. Um, they won. Clara trying to get the push on, but Santa Cruz holding firm. Inside center thought he might have found a hole, but just didn't have such a clean hand on that ball. Yes, boy! Oh, bench ball? There's a catch tackle! Looks like Santa Clara somehow picked the pocket on that one again. And he's looking oh, so nice. And he found it. Yes, boy! Tim Lou. Getting a lot of use out of that try whistle right now. Somber times. And, uh, 38 to 5. Now the Broncos over Santa Cruz. Banana slugs. Uh, trainer's been very busy tonight, mainly with a lot of the Santa Clara guys, but now taping up one of the Santa Clara guys in front of us, uh, but um, it's, uh, this is another conversion attempt from the side. Santa Clara's kicking game is quite impressive when it comes to the conversions tonight. Yeah, yeah he's got a boot. He's putting on a kicking clinic right now. Couldn't connect on this one though. I jinxed him. Yeah, I feel bad now. I feel, I feel bad. That's like saying this this guy hasn't Probably. thrown an interception in 300 passes, and he gives one. It's the only second one he's missed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I can now do yeah. that. Maybe I should do it every time. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Santa Cruz kicking off here. 38-5, Santa Clara's favor. They're kicking weak this time. Oh, he. Oh, 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 Yeah! 
some cash and times here on the Santa Clara sideline. That kick was hanging up well, but taken cleanly by Santa Clara. And now they're knocking on the door. And let's see if Santa Cruz opens the door. They got that second pass on, caught well behind the line by Martin Gutierrez. Nice hit. They got a, a, a big overlap here, but they've knocked it on, unfortunately. The space in the world, plenty of hands, unfortunately, found the ground. Scrum down Santa Cruz. The game uh, try saving tackle by uh, Santa Cruz back there that was able to uh, uh, keep him from the try zone for now. Uh, yeah. but, uh, that, that was a that was a, a big a big heavy run by a, by a big Santa Clara man. Yeah, big. And uh, if I was put in the same situation, uh, I don't know uh, if I would have. Uh, I don't think been, I would have been yes. so brave. I don't not, know. Not with the yeah. score of what it is right, at the moment. Right, right. <laughs> yeah. So big kudos to the Santa Cruz player who made that tackle. Um, and let's see if Santa Cruz can win this scrum. Maybe have a, a run out or maybe clear it out. Let's see what Tim has to say. It's a full arm penalty to Santa Cruz. Maybe an early strike or pulling on the on the prop there. At this point, you're really as a side. You're really looking for anything that can be positive that you can build on. Mm -hmm. Just Absolutely. a good kick or anything yeah. to just get some breathing room. Yeah. Hey, Sean. Um, you want something positive, uh, not just for yourself, but obviously for the oh, sideline, for the boys, for the coach. You know, hopefully, Coach Sanford is. Uh, taking notes on what he wants to tell the, the crew at halftime here in about three minutes. So if I'm uh, UC Santa Cruz, I'm saying no more points on the board now <laughs> right. until halftime. And let's just uh, try to get a couple things we can hang our hat on. Like that. That's good. That's a nice That's a nice little run out from your own goal line. And Tim is saying, the head ref is saying, not rolling away on the ground. Land on the ball. Let's see what Santa Cruz wants to yeah, do. Sean. We got runners over here. Show that you. He's going to find touch. Yeah. So we'll have a field here right in front nice of our line out right in front of us yeah. in the camera. We'll see what Santa Cruz cup. Hopefully they've got a set piece play they run from about halfway, the 50 yard line, 50 meters. Rugby Night in America, Dan O'Leary, Vince Larkin from Bellamy Field in Santa Clara. Eyes of the nation on us. <laughs> Santa Cruz. Come on, Tim! Oh, not nice wrapping on that. Yeah, that might be going into this one. See what Tim has to say on this. He was not using his arms in that tackle, I think, is what Tim saw. And I think he's going to go to the pocket. Yeah, Jer Coach Sanford was uh, saying something to the official there about how many cards. Uh, trying so, to get some kind of Evan, breaks here for Evan. Santa Cruz from the penalty Evan. perspective. So we got a, a minute to half here with a Santa Clara yellow card. Uh, let's see if uh, UC Santa Cruz can translate this into some points before halftime. Um, looks like on the uh, second half, uh, Santa Cruz will have a man advantage for nine, eight minutes. Uh, maybe they can do something with that. Um, that doesn't quite look like what we've seen so far in the match. Line out stolen by Sarah. It's nice and warm. Out the back door. Great hands by Santa Clara. And they're having a little jaw. Looking for his support. He's got it there in the fullback. And he is all over the knees as he finds sticks. For another five for Santa Clara. And 
Santa Clara go, going coast to coast on that one. Uh, mm. as it seemed like Santa Cruz had the good advantage of sending someone in the sin bin and then, uh, you know, uh, uh, in their territory. But then uh, uh, the backs of uh, the backs of uh, Clara just relentless. Mm -hmm. and, yeah, and they taking the ball, stripping the ball. And, yeah, they're they're and, playing uh, another conversion. Uh, and uh, that is all right. Now we and we are in the halftime right now. Uh, Rugby Night in America. Vince Lark and Dan O'Leary. Santa Cruz uh, finding itself uh, in, a, in a real hole here, forty-five to five, mm -hmm. uh, as the Santa Clara University touring side over. University of California, Santa Cruz Rugby Football uh, Club, uh, 45 to 5. Yeah, the name of the game right now, Vince, is uh, off to the races, I mm -hmm. think. Uh, Santa Clara is um, just put on a, a champagne rugby, running rugby clinic right now, um, making uh, all these crisp, clean passes uh, using good hands. Um, hitting Santa Cruz uh, behind the line when Santa Cruz is on the attack. So uh, at the moment, it's um, Santa Clara's ball game. Um, and we can see if uh, Coach Sanford is going to make any uh, halftime adjustments or try to get some, uh, some, some heads to be held higher on the Santa Cruz sideline and the Santa Cruz roster uh, when we come back from half. Um, yeah, at the moment somber times for slug fans yeah and let's take a look at the uh upcoming matches for santa cruz uh we have uh, this is the beginning of a road trip here in santa clara tonight then uh on the 25th they they head down to san diego san diego state the aztecs which uh is uh, you know san diego state university of san diego big rugby community down there and uh, San Diego State could be uh, joining the Pac-12 uh, <laughs> soon. They could be one of the uh, teams joining the Pac-12 conference since UCLA and USC has left. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, that and Texas, uh, SMU from Texas, mm -hmm. thinking about Pac joining the conference. So San Diego, uh, they have no football team there because they moved to Los Angeles. So rugby is big. Rugby is very big in San Diego. Mm -hmm. That's going to be quite a trip. Mm -hmm. uh, then after that, you see Santa Barbara on March the 5th, 4th, March Saturday, 4th. March the 4th. Yeah. Santa Barbara with so many great histories of the big Santa Barbara tournament. Uh, so Santa Barbara, big, t big side. Uh, that'll be a, this is a big road trip for uh for for santa cruz it's really sort of a gonna really define their season now mm -hmm. as they started off well with those with those uh, two victories that huge upset victory over davis mm -hmm. the first time they had ever beaten davis in at home in men and that was just an incredible comeback and then sacramento state which is a feisty team that both santa cruz and uh santa clara have beaten cal poly was a rough match last week and uh, you wonder, you know, the yellow cards that happened at the end of that match that mm -hmm. really took out wind out of uh, Santa Cruz against Cal Poly. Mm -hmm. Has that uh, this performance here tonight? They gave, the Santa Cruz really wants to try to shake, shake it off what happened. And uh, going into this road trip, it's a big road trip. These are pretty big sides they're going to go up against. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Santa Cruz really, I'm, I'm sure Jeremy Ford is really trying to get them back so they can start doing some positive things uh before they hit they hit the road i mean this is a road trip but of course it's local uh right across right over the mountain yeah, right uh the there. two big sc sc teams <laughs> not the not that school from uh with all the spoiled children <laughs> <laughs> no. that left the that joined no. the big 10 no, no huh? these this is the santa clara yeah. santa cruz uh which uh has been quite a rivalry they have not played for a while, and now the, the women are playing, the women started playing, and now this rivalry is being renewed, which is a great thing. It's just it's just mm -hmm. a wonderful thing, uh, and it's so exciting to be here on a Saturday night. And uh, uh, Santa Clara, uh, they are, uh, they have a big, uh, 
some big matches as well coming up. Uh, they, they they started off the year playing Cal, mm -hmm. and uh, I don't, um, that must have been very rough. Uh, they they play they don't play St. Mary's like Santa Cruz does. Santa Cruz plays St. Mary's, I believe, at the end of this season. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Santa Clara had to play Cal at their opener. And, uh, uh, oh, they do. That's not true. They do play St. Mary's. Mm -hmm. They did play St. Mary's. Did. Yeah. Oh, so that's, <laughs> they play Santa Barbara yeah. coming up. And uh, they also play San Diego. And they play Davis and Long Beach State. Mm -hmm. It's on their, yeah. it's on their, um, um, on their schedule, on their schedule, the so. fixtures coming up. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, Vince, I do have a, a surprise guest for All us. All right. Um, I'm going to bring in a two broadcast booth here. Yes. Uh, former UC Santa Cruz president, yes. Austin Brown oh, here. Vince. Austin, come on He's in. joining us Austin, here. come on in. Hey, Get on in there, Austin. Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm so, <laughs> well, yeah, we'll we'll ask your uh, we'll ask you for a comment here for a quick moment. Um, now, if you're Coach Sanford, what are you telling the boys right now at halftime? I would say um, get low to like this and on the long line on breaks, especially yeah. inside center. So maybe it's worth having a couple extra players in your, <laughs> yeah. in your uh, line uh, in the gaps. Yeah, yeah, they're really having really having their way with Santa Cruz today. So. Yeah. Um, so we're just coming back in uh, to the game right now. We got uh, Austin Brown here with us for just a moment longer. Um, Vince and myself, Dan O'Leary. Uh, hopefully, uh, we had something like that to say to the boys of. Get low, get them behind the line, put bodies on bodies, minutes. not spaces. We're gonna, should we just Were you Austin Brown before this uh, kickoff oh, here for halftime? Um, would you take a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos or Nacho Cheese Doritos? Cool Ranch. Cool Ranch. Yeah. Cool Ranch man. <laughs> All right. All right. Thanks, Austin Brown, former UC Santa Cruz Austin, president. Austin Brown, that is so the hard-hitting question. Yeah. <laughs> That's what they pay me for, yeah. <laughs> All right, now we are coming back live from Santa Clara. Tim waiting to give us the whistle. For those just joining us, the score is Santa Clara 45, UC Santa Cruz 5. Poorly! Not taken by Santa Clara. Santa Cruz finds it. He's blowing it up for a penalty full arm to Santa Cruz, who elected to take it quickly. Give it to a big man, bowling ball of a man. Taking a bit of time here in this rug. Let's see if they try to slow it down here with some pick and goes, or if they try to spin it out wide here soon. He's a big runner, but he's isolated. He's got just a little bit of support there. Santa Cruz going weak with it. A little show and go wrapped well by the Santa Clara back line. Come on, boy! Slow ball yeah, here for Santa Cruz. The Santa Clara def defending incredibly well here on That's their own doorstep. <laughs> Let's go, boys! Seek a shoot! Santa Cruz not finding much purchase here. Santa Cruz backs out right and left. Options on both sides. Oh, Santa Cruz, one of their most continued plays of the game, unfortunately, goes to ground. Big man almost had it, but we're coming back to a scrum for Santa Clara. Very important. Uh, uh, very important now for Santa Cruz to win this uh, and get that ball. Uh, they're knocking on Santa Clara's doorstep. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so important to get uh, some momentum to start this half. Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, the, it would it would be great to see Santa Cruz uh, win one against the head here in this scrum. Um, but Santa Clara has been incredibly strong in the scrum today. 
little shove on, and they got the ball out cleanly. Oh, he's oh, got oh. having a little job here. He's putting a move on. He might need support. One. He's taking it to ground. He's got men with him. If they can get it out quickly, they've got numbers to the left. We'll remember we got a one man down for Santa Clara. He's got about five, six minutes left on his yellow. Santa Cruz finding him behind the line, a nice clean hit. Oh yeah, hey, Out the back, back door hey. to the fullback. A nice Go. offload taken on for it. Next, uh, next touch, touch, right? Guess the way he'll stop All right, it. Santa Cruz finds, finds, some car, finds car. touch, and it looks like we might be getting uh, the man back soon from their yellow card. What the fuck? Tim, Tim's saying 20 seconds left on the card. Oh, he's throwing? No, he's still off. Why? Let's see what Santa Clara is able to do with this. Oh, time's off. Time's off. Tim calling for time here. Wants to have a little chat with somebody about something. With the assistant referee, James Hankin. Are they just talking about his yellow card? No, I think somebody dude was like tying his shoelace back there. Must be a warning, though. Dan O'Leary, Vince Larkin. It is Rugby Night in America. Santa Clara uh, continuing to uh, push oh, 45 to 5. Now Santa Clara continuing to push their game. Ooh, their game. Great, oh, great, move, great move. Great move from Santa Clara. Oh, uh, unfortunately, no. couldn't translate it. But to Santa, Santa Cruz's Cruz advantage. Can't. Santa Cruz trying to put a counter together on that. And we found touch. Let's go, Ed! Things are getting a little chippy over there on the far sideline as tensions maybe boil over. But yeah, Santa Clara had a, a great set piece move there yeah. uh, in the middle of the field, putting it through uh, several different runners. Yeah. Maybe looking like uh, they could have the focal point of attack come from many different guys. Um, but uh, that line break was nice and clean. Uh, unfortunately, couldn't translate it to uh, any points. Yeah, Santa Clara is now back to full strength with their man out of the sin bin. Um. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, for all intents and purposes, yeah, though, no, no further scores Three out there, from, 11. Uh, from <laughs> Santa Clara on this, it this half. Uh, I'm, I'm yeah, taking that as a, right. as a positive thing if I'm Santa yeah. Cruz right now. Right. It's a... Uh, Santa Cruz getting... Uh, trying to get its... Uh, send a man up. Taken at the end of the line out by Santa Clara's eight. Now they're attacking weak. Ooh, almost got that one off, unfortunately. Didn't get to hands. And Santa Cruz ended up with that ball. He's showing kick. But he's still on his feet. Yeah, that was cool. Yeah. Yeah, I thought he was going to give that yeah. the boot for sure. Touch and go moments. Dogs, motherfucker. Santa Cruz line's kind of confused now. Nobody putting their hand up. Asking for that ball. They got to get a little yeah. composure right now. Yeah. Support is such a big deal right now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, slow and steady. Coach Sanford is over on line, staring daggers at his players, yeah. asking somebody to make a play, make a line break. But Santa Clara is just smothering defense right now just enveloping Santa Cruz players in whatever they try to do. Seiko, watch kick, watch kick. They're trying to kick. Looks like he might have his hands on. No, but it's not releasing the tackle from Santa Clara. Taken quickly. Was he 10? Tim is saying it's fine. Play on. 
And now we got a boot, foot race a here. Great boot to the corner by, Maybe by if it stays Santa Cruz. In, but it's bound touch on that far sideline. That's the first of and this kind a, by Santa Cruz tonight. That's a 50-22. That's a, that's that a, that's a, that's a new rule there. Yeah. Uh, that is Santa Cruz line out. Um, kicked from uh, their own 50 into the opponent's 22. Uh, and that's a Santa Cruz line out there. Taken out of bounds. Line out for Santa Clara. And we have a Santa Cruz player down on a knee here. Hobbling about. He's saying, no, no, no. I'm better than that. I don't need it. He's good, Chrissy. He's good. Could have fooled me. Wow. <laughs> he will. Mm. Yeah, a long passage of play there. Yeah, it's a long passage a of, of play. A lot of phases. Uh, you got carded? We got some substitutions some, coming yeah, in some, now. We got Gutierrez is is coming out. It seems that that hip still mm -hmm. bothering him mm -hmm. from that initial uh, play earlier where he went to the trainer, mm -hmm. uh, then got back in like a true uh, warrior that he is. <laughs> Line out taken well by Santa Clara there. Middle club. Taking it into the mall. I think that's one of the first planned malls we've seen tonight. Um, and they're just stepping it forward slowly. And that ball's out for a waiting back line. The backs want it. They want to run a move. They're putting their hands yes, Sean! all over the place. He's still got the ball. Clean hit from Santa Cruz fullback coming in for a covering tackle. And now Santa Clara is looking to have a gallop. They were coming. They're off to the races on that one. And that is, I think, his third try of the night. They're full back there. Yeah. Who you give him an inch of space, he's going to take a mile. Yeah. And that is just a. Uh, that's a demoralizing try for sure. Because yeah. Santa Cruz so wanted that. And they, yeah. as you said, Santa Clara wasn't gonna give him anything. No, they've been playing down in Santa Clara's half inside yeah. their twenty two for a very long time. Yeah, but they Santa just Clara get it over. They came so close. Showing their resolve yeah. and their mental You're toughness right? and just not right? breaking on that one. Were you right. touch stressed out? Yeah. That was a good passage we of play wait for from another Santa Clara, Santa Clara conversion. Gonna take his time, let his boys get a little bit of a breather. He's got nowhere to go, nowhere to be. No hot dates tonight. <laughs> he puts it through. Another two points. Good job, Ev! It's an even 50. Let's go, Benj! I like Santa that! Clara Please! University Broncos and five for the UC Santa Cruz Slugs. I have one, I have one. Yeah. Rugby Night in America, Vince Larkin, Dan O'Leary live, Bellamy Field. On, uh, quite a night for rugby here mm -hmm. on uh, the Santa Clara campus. Yeah, Santa, uh, we've got about one quarter left, about 20 minutes left in the game, and Santa Clara is still hungry. They're still chatting. They still want this ball. They want to keep putting up a couple more tries on Santa Cruz, and Santa Cruz is looking to maybe – uh, forestall a complete route here. Um, they've kind of stopped the bleeding, so to speak, in the second half. Um, but the patient is still questionable to make it as a nice tackle is made there to perhaps save a try. Santa Clara just playing their rugby of many points of attack here. Oh, Santa Clara puts it to ground. And we're going to come from Santa Cruz. <clears throat> you know, uh, did you play rugby yourself at uh I did. I played for Dan Porter. Oh, I did. I was right very on. lucky. I was very fortunate to what, play for uh, Dan Porter. What position did you play? I was a back. I was a back. wing. I was okay, way good. back. There. As far from so the yes, action as you yes, can get. Yes, yeah. that's, that was it. That was it. That was and good. we played Santa Clara. Uh, mm -hmm. They were part of our, our, and so was Cal and Stanford and, 
Chico and all right. You know, you, you don't have to give me a year, but how oh. was it different back in the day? What, oh, what were it's the, changed so let's much. Let's go, eleven. It's just, uh, you know, there was such an emphasis on the post party, <laughs> and you know, yeah. you know, you could you could go through the pain, but you know that there would be joy at the end of it. <laughs> and it was really Saturday. Really was a rugby day. It was a whole thing, and mm -hmm. you know, yeah, the songs and everything. But the game has changed a lot. It's a lot more. Those days uh, seem to have passed in many ways a little more polished you yeah. if you've gained some things you've lost yeah, some things oh, yeah. i don't think these guys these two sides are going to be partying with each other tonight no boat races that's just not yeah. santa clara always gave us a good party too I mean, uh -huh. but it's a very different scene now mm -hmm. santa cruz wins that scrum gives it out to the backs who are hoping to get anything going just a line break a, a little flash a gem that they can take back to the film room on monday we got a big carry from a big man here. He might be a little isolated. No, Santa Clara's not putting any men in these rucks. They're just saying, we're waiting for you. Come and get us. Yes, sir. Big bodies. Drew, as always. Got a little box kick here, a little chip over. Let's see if we can get some chasers. I'm giving it to this 15 in space. He's. Puts a kick to it. They've got a couple men playing on side. No? Okay. He knows what he's doing. Well taken by the scrum half there. Put it right in his bread basket behind the back. And now we've got some loose change rugby right now. It's whoever has the ball, they can put their hand up, come grab it, have a little jog. <laughs> now Santa Clara's got numbers out here on the left. Ah, uh, got to eat it up in the wing, and he's thinking he found the ball. Yeah, yeah, you hear on the sideline that everybody wants him to score a try. <laughs> he's under the sticks for five. Oof. Now. Vince, I know you're yeah. talking about the uh, the post match, not maybe not winning the match, but winning the post match. <laughs> right. And that was one of my favorite things uh, when I was playing uh, collegiate and uh, men's league. Is just, you know, you might be uh, pretty bitter uh, opponents on right. the field, right. uh, but afterwards you always find your opposite number. You know, shake right. a hand, right. put right. a beer in it, and have a little bit of a, a rehash. You know. Uh, yes. Uh, mending a fence of sorts. Yes. But, uh, yeah, we were very, I think we were both very lucky to have experienced that. Mm -hmm. I don't know if these players have to experience that, which is too bad. And we, I, we know we know the songs, and they don't. <laughs> we know we know the it songs, may, they don't maybe, know. <laughs> maybe it's better the songs remain unsung. They were uh, at moments we unsavory. <laughs> Mostly... Uh, you need childish? Is that, is that a good way to put it? <laughs> Certainly juvenile, yeah, is what I'd call it. Uh, as we come back to the field for a oh, Santa sorry, Cruz touch kickoff. Touch, touch. The kick was good. You know, there, this is a, there's a lot of tradition here. I mean, in this university, it goes back to the 1850s, mm -hmm. founded by the Society of Jesus. They've got the Santa Clara Mission here. Mm -hmm. they've, had, they've been playing you know, football and rugby for years. They've given up the football program. Buckshaw Stadium was the home of a lot of great rugby, including the Churchill Cup, which was uh, that featured Ireland, New Zealand, Great Britain, Australia, uh, Canada. Uh, and those were epic matches. Also, uh, the Santa Clara Missions rugby team uh, was, was a, a big rugby club. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of history in rugby here at uh, at Santa Clara. Mm. Let's go, Dante! Yeah. And, uh, uh, we've had, and of course, for years, the, the football team fed into, shit, Pat. you know, fed into the rugby program. But they mm. gave up, they gave up uh, football years ago. So does St. Mary's. Mm. But um, for Lent, probably. they gave it up yeah, for Lent. Yeah. That's right. They're just, we're just coming up this Wednesday. That's right. That's right. Yeah, everybody get to church. Or, you know, that's right, the local parish. But, uh, but uh, yeah, so Santa Clara has quite a history of, of rugby. And uh, 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 
as, and it had quite a history of, of college football as well. Yeah. Doug Cosby, Dan Pastorini, uh, and of course the great Brent Jones of the 49ers. Mm -hmm. As we come back to a bullying running back style run there, as they're showing numbers left, Santa Clara is, and they want it. If they can play unselfishly, maybe they can get it out quickly. And ooh, what do we got with him? Is he also going to the pocket again? Drop, drop, drop. Uncertain what the call is, but uh, it was a legal clear out. I thought it was a, a nice old fashioned uh, yeah. Rock clean out, but yeah, um, we're looking for safety these days. Anything from the neck or head right. is uh, going to be flagged, uh, rightly so, uh, as the kick punch. And it's a Santa Cruz ball as Santa Clara tries to pull a quick one. Yeah. <laughs> so we're looking at about 35. 40 meters out here from Santa Cruz. Hopefully they can put some points on the board with 15 minutes left in the game. We've got a short line out here from Santa Cruz. Let's see if they can button it up, grab this ball, and use it. And now we're out to the waiting forward pod for Santa Cruz. And he's been having some great runs today. I wish I could yeah, get his name, but yeah. he is uh, having some bullying runs. Right. A nice bright spot in right. Santa Cruz's uh, cloudy day today. Yeah. As Santa Clara is just foregoing any sort of breakdown content now, and they're just fanning out, waiting for Santa Cruz to run into them. And they're fine to let the clock bleed and wait for Santa Cruz to make a move or show their hand. Santa Cruz has backs out to the right and left and they got their pack concentrated around that ruck. Looks like they might try to play some grinding rugby right now. That's anybody's ball. That ball's out. Let's play it. A little box kick here pass into the waiting arms of the wing. He's ready for it. He's squirrely. He might have a run, but he's wrapped up well by Santa Cruz. The ball's loose. The ball is loose. Oh, put Santa Cruz foot. advances it with the boot. And they've found their second try of the game Advanced. for Santa Cruz off of a broken play. This is some heads up rugby. Yeah, hey, Vince, something to smile about. It That's sure is. That. 57 to 10 now. <laughs> 57 to 10. We'll yeah. wait to see what the kick does, but we could be looking at 57 to 12 right now, Vince, all right? <laughs> Dan O'Leary, Vince Larkin, live on a beautiful night, President's Weekend, Rugby Night in America. Mm -hmm. From Mills or anything like no, that. No, 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 no. You're in the capital of the Silicon Valley or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Let's go, Pascal. Good carry, boy. All right. Got a wing coming up to take a kick. I think he's the third or fourth yeah, kick. Yeah, to take yeah, a kick tonight yeah. for Santa Clara. The kicking game is, is quite impressive, isn't it? That is good. That's through the sticks. Yeah. We have just about Let's go, eight minutes Let's left go. here One more. in Santa Clara as Santa Cruz is preparing to drop out again. Our head touch judge, our head referee Tim Liu waiting expectantly in his flash pink and yes. vibrant yellow shoes. <laughs> Love it. Santa Cruz gains that kickoff back. Santa Clara still talking to themselves, keeping up the chat, conversing well amongst themselves. Santa Cruz being shoved off that ruck. Oh, doesn't go to hand. Collected just in time to get enveloped again. Word of the night, Vince. Enveloped, <laughs> yes. shrouded, yeah, <laughs> buried. <laughs> oh, very dark verbs. Yes. Santa Cruz lining up, but they're not. They're not quite rolling over. They're still in this game. They're playing. 
giving some pick and goes, pick and drives. Trying to end this game on a high note. Maybe get a few more points here on the board. Something to point at, something to point at this week to work off of. Gives the fake and takes it himself. Pump and go, ball is there, prepared. Spremi gets it out to a waiting pot of Santa Cruz forwards. Got a nice, nice hard run. Santa Clara still trying to claw at that ball on the ground. Got there for Santa Cruz. Keeping the ball in hand. We found a hole. He's looking for support. Can he take it all in? You know, it's crisp and lovely, but uh, these guys have just got to be worked, especially yeah. Santa Cruz just oh, being yeah. beaten up all night. Yeah. And uh, a try like that and a conversion really helps. Yeah. Gets, uh, gets a little more pep in the step, definitely. Um, and we're coming back uh, to midfield for a uh, scrum. It looked like it was maybe uh, not 10 on that kickoff. Uh, so Santa Cruz ball, they got backs out left, backs out right. Let's see if they uh, put some trust in these boys now. And uh, Santa Clara having a good push on the scrum. Santa Cruz putting it through the hands, and they unfortunately drop it down to the ground. Just unfortunate. You know, Big scrum here, boys! At this point, it's, uh, you know, just... Uh, Start working on stuff that you think you might need to uh, ratchet up for, for the week, for the next game. Like we said, they're going to be going on a pretty big road trip now yeah. in the next couple yeah. weeks. They got yeah. games in uh, Southern California in the next two weekends. So, uh, you know, you've got to take a deep look in the mirror tonight after the game when you get home and you say... <laughs> I, I better start liking this because right, it, it, right. there's there's more of the same coming down uh, down south in the next couple of weeks. Oh yes, absolutely. <sighs> Santa Clara wants this ball. It looks like this eight man's gonna pick it up and have a little jog with it. Maybe no. Backs want it. They're gonna have a set piece move here. Taken to the ground by the outside center for Santa Cruz. Quick hands on the sideline. Great little show of skill. Santa Cruz trying to drag him into touch. Can't quite get him there. And unfortunately, the ball goes to ground for Santa Clara. We're going to come down to a scrum for Santa Cruz. As tensions boil over just a little bit here. All eyes on the point of conflict. But our head judge, Tim Liu, is saying, not on my watch, boys. My dad was a policeman in San Francisco for 35 years. I'm a, <laughs> I am, of course, kidding and losing my mind as we're in the 77th minute here of the game, of the broadcast. These referees are interesting people. I, mean, <laughs> and I know, uh, you know, Dennis Freitas, who, who's not feeling well, big Santa Clara guy, great ref, great judge. Uh, couldn't make it here tonight, but uh, I know he is just – enjoying uh, his, his Santa, Cruz, Santa Clara team win. Uh, uh, but, of course, he's a very well-known in, in Santa Cruz rugby. So mm. uh, having played for the Rebels and played many matches in Santa Cruz. Uh, <laughs> you're laughing so. like you know something that oh, you're yeah, not yeah. saying. He, he told me, he said, watch out for Santa Clara. I said, well, this is the year. We ought to watch out for Santa Clara. Well, you didn't tell and, our uh, boys out there <laughs> that today. Yeah, they told me. I said, I said oh, we'll see. But he was so, he's so happy this uh, they're playing again, and that rivalry mm -hmm. is, is back. Yeah, a little one-sided rivalry today for those just joining us. 64-17 yes. uh, in yes. uh, Santa Clara's favor as Santa Cruz tries to get something going towards the end of the game here. Taking the ground on this near sideline. The Rucks are still manic at the moment as we enter into the 79th minute of play. Uh, neither side is looking up right now, and uh, it's showing. A little box kick, nobody's home, knock, knock, finds a touch. Oh, and that, did that hit our camera? Hit our that was unfortunate. And it is, Hopefully it, is okay. it is fitting that the trainer spins it out. She's been very busy tonight. She's been very busy. And it's good that she's having some fun because she's been very busy yeah, on both sides. The and, uh, today. 
She's been earning her paycheck today. Yes. No question about it. All right, so we got a line out to Santa Clara here. Uh, we'll see how much injury time our head rep, Tim Lou, wants to give the boys, but uh, let the boys play is the, is the word of the day right now. Santa Cruz calling for numbers left, trying to put it through the hands there of a couple forwards. Maybe that sucked in a couple players. Now the backs want it. They're calling for it. They see something, but enveloped. Santa Clara somehow came up with that ball, and you hear the, the hooter there here in Santa Clara, and we'll see how much time Tim gives us. Santa Clara kicks it out, and Tim calls game. Yes, boys! Santa Clara University Broncos 64, UC Santa Cruz Slugs 17. And the two coaches uh, congratulating each other. Amicable. Uh, amicable. No blows. <laughs> Uh, no blows. No blows. No blows. Yeah. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, it's a uh, uh, very physical game. Uh, uh, a big uh, learning curve, obviously, for Santa Cruz now. Their second loss in a row. It's going to be a short week for the Banana Slugs. Uh, and so you know, you're Jeremy. What do you you know? You want to get the guys. Uh, you know, you want to get them them back into a, a state of mind. Or you, you just want to forget about, you know, um, you just want to forget about the, a lot of it and yet learn from it, too. Mm. And you're going against these big sides from Southern California. And rugby is a big, big sport in Southern California mm. and has a lot of tradition in Santa Barbara and San Diego. Those are big hotbeds. So uh, Santa Cruz could be going into a, a real uh, juggernaut, but how they got to let go of a lot of this and regroup and get ready for, uh, you know, get ready for, for, uh, for next week. Yeah. Well said Vince. Uh, the things, uh, coach Sanford was harping on with his boys this week was uh, continuity, right? Continuity. Make sure that, uh, you continue running the game plan that you set up, uh, continue, uh, doing all the small things, right. To lead to the big things, the tries, the turnovers, the big plays. Um, and it's just unfortunate when you get a couple key injuries, uh, in your lineup uh, at the beginning of the game, you know, to your scrum half, Martin Gutierrez, to your big eight captain, Jackson. Um, you lose some some key players, some key pieces in your lineup, uh, and you'll certainly feel it. Um, obviously, it's a next man up situation. Uh, yeah, it want, really is, isn't it? Yeah, you want your people to step in there, but they're starters for a reason. You know, they're, they're, they're good. Right. They're good players. They're, right. They're, they're, right. They're here for, they're here for a reason. Um, yeah, and uh, we'll have our uh, our steel reserves, our, our B side, uh, coming out here to play again. Um, but uh, this is, uh, I think that's it for us, Vince. Just just now, unless you have anything else to add. Uh, it's been great working with you tonight. It's been great being here, Dan O'Leary. You were my first uh, uh, play-by-play -play guy when we we started this a few years ago, and it's just. You're, you're so I just love the way you can you can see the way the play is developing and it's just it's just so great and um, it's really great to have you as a play-by-play -play guy you really have such a great style and uh, and the ball is going and you really put I think the listener in the mind of the back and as someone who was a back mm -hmm. I, I really enjoy listening to you because you can really see the scrums unfolding and um, well, I got the glasses. That's, got I, got, glasses. I, got, I got the corrective lenses now, <laughs> so I can glasses. really see everything developing. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Vince. It was, it was a pleasure working with you. Uh, it was uh, uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, I'll go ahead and put our uh, upcoming matches here uh, on the screen so you can see that until the uh, B-side game begins. Um, but, Vince, you want to you wanna take us out? All right. Well, uh, Santa Cruz uh, will is the beginning of a big road trip, uh, losing tonight, 64 to 17, to the uh, Santa Clara University touring side, uh, the Broncos, uh, 64, the University of California Santa Cruz Rugby Football Club, the Banana Slugs, 17, with uh, Dan Larkin. Want to thank, uh, of course, Coach Jeremy Sanford, who's done so much to put this together 
thank Austin who stopped by. Uh, Austin Brown. Uh, Austin Brown. It was yeah. great having him here. <laughs> he was in his uh, black and gold, yeah, the black and gold society, which <laughs> you and I represent. Yeah, yeah. And it's always going to be black and gold. <laughs> 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 might not have felt that way tonight, but it's of course tonight it was a lot more yeah. black and blue, obviously. <laughs> but uh, but it's <laughs> it's it's always going to be the black and blue gold of the banana slugs here in the center of the Silicon Valley on a beautiful night, rugby night in America. It's great. The energy is always exciting for a night match that you don't get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Looking at Old Toso Pavilion across the way, nice. where Main Kurt job. Rambos and and Steve Nash played basketball, and uh, uh, this is a sports uh, sports mecca. So uh, it's great to bring rugby right here, and to have uh, such a great two great universities with such great student athletes. They got to go back to class. They got to ice. They got to you know they got to go to school on uh, on Monday, and they got to figure out Santa Cruz. Figure out uh, they got to pack. They got to get ready. They're, they're doing their road trip. But you know there was a picture of them having the. Uh, uh, Pinea, right? They they, oh, they yeah, all get together and they yeah, they, they love it. They, they love do their a lot. Paella. Yeah, yeah, that's paella, right? <laughs> what are we yeah, gonna do with all this paella? Yeah, they they love it. And I'm sure that uh, Coach Sanford's gonna do that for them as well. And mm. uh, um, there's still a lot more rugby to play. You know, you got 15s, you got sevens. Um, there's a lot going on with rugby here at uh, UC Santa Cruz. Yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Oh all right, Vince. Uh, Thanks. Right. That was a great night. Great game with you, Vince. Great call in a game yeah. with you. And uh, this is a goodbye and good night from Rugby Night in America. Thanks for listening.
Mas eu vi que é bosta. Yeah, those were their tennis storage. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, like you came around and like your players were there, and you know, honestly, like let's just play rugby. Yeah, Sam Walsh is better. He was playing sevens for a bit too. Yeah, right? he was, and then Sam Walsh took his spot. Damn. Well, we got to play overseas too. The yeah, no, he's definitely good. Yeah. Yeah, you ran 40 meters on the line. I was just going to tell the guy. He's not a player anymore. Oh, good. Why not? Yeah. Tell me you guys. Yeah. They lost the state? Yes, they lost to Cal Poly 100 to 0. No fucking way. Just less than we lost to 100 to 0. You guys would never see Clay Slate, St. Mary's. Oh, yeah. We get the hard ones. Yeah, boom, boom, boom. And then. No, we haven't. We played uh, Polly and Davis. How is Davis? They're not bad. They, um, let me let me just hop this right here, right here. Why did I play 20 extra minutes? I wanted to do Mr. Tubbs. Come on, we can mess with the show. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 What the fuck is this? It's so bad. Jacob, we normally play a year ago. Damn. We all get like injuries and practice. This shit's dead dealing with me. Yeah, it's complicated. Yeah, you can tell. It's so shit. There were so many times where my knees were like. Yeah! Like this is more dangerous than like the, the artificial. Guy. I felt like I played a very much a low player. I didn't like our field last week. Well, oh no, St. Mary's. It's the same age field. So it's fucking shit. Uh, you would have told me how it was. It, it was. It's good if it is. Yeah, I know. Like it just became so shit. Yeah, and, and there was a game league. before us too. Uh, seriously, in St. Joel, Washington. Uh, oh, they lost that. Yeah, they game, lost that, and then we yeah. played them. Right? Yeah, honestly. Oh. He's the MVP though. And they lost that. They're pissed. <laughs> yeah, they pretty took it out in here. Uh, but it was like, it wasn't even that bad. Cal Poly threw up before around the same point. So. Yeah, this is the one that's not on the field. You guys did yeah, no. for real. What is that rule? That's the stupidest rule ever. Which one? Oh, oh, did it come? Oh, oh, it's raining. It was, but it was raining for 20 minutes. Just so I get to the uh, Yeah, it was just It was slightly yeah, down. Yeah, the camera was doing so much AIDS, I thought that it was just wet. I'm from the UK. You were just holding my fucking leg. I'm cold. 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 Like, I'm half American, so I'm like, I seem so Uh, I have family in the U.S., but ultimately, like, I just don't really want to dig in in the Dude, this guy was hitting... Hitting it for 40, 40 meters. Man, hang in there. I know he's missing. He did, he missed it. Like, a re-kick. Good, edible. You know, like, there's some ice you can't eat, and some ice you can't eat. Depending on if they use, like, dry butter. I feel like, no, we have to like, you guys. This is just on the live stream. Yeah, you'll definitely hear us like streaming on the live stream. Can't fully watch him game. Actually, they play both. We watch our game. No, we played in our league. We played St. Mary's and Cal. Your hands, love that. No, we went, we went fucking. Al Saxon. Dante! 
pretty sure he's British. Co-workers, I'm actually the people who to buy and play rugby. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, yeah. 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 Most of your first team, like, most of them are also my teams. We're like basically all We have like six sophomore starting, two freshmen, it was like a couple of juniors. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I look like Is your ASC or like Hey, uh, Fuck. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So, yeah. That's why we were like, you go, you go. Why didn't you do that? We got way too much shit out of this. I could tell. I could tell. You can win. You can win. We had a really shit. Did you win the Valentine's Day? We had that. We had that. We had that. We had 18 guys. Holy shit. I mean, maybe you guys are just fucking more than we are, though. Well, actually, you have people on the sideline shouting. I wouldn't be too sure about that. It was surprisingly productive, but it was a rough practice. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You tried it. You practiced yesterday? Uh, yeah, we did the bit. Oh, that's a good idea. For the first three, yeah, the first three minutes, yeah. he went down. Oh, my God! Oh, hey! Watch your dog! Get the game! Right, right, right! Oh, you're the dog. Oh, you're the dog. Oh, you're the dog. Oh, I didn't have many, I didn't have many opportunities. <laughs> you could tell you yeah. like playing with us. I didn't do that. Kind of really weird here with the way the train went today. Get you bags of ice. 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 Get you bags Yeah. Boom, boom. I wish I was a 
Bro, that was so clean, Darren. Those breaks. This just the two on one passes. It was so nice. It was back from Bravo. It was finally clean. Dude, my groin is healed. Like, knock on wood. I'm, dude. Yeah, I look faster than usual, right? Yeah, I, it feels great, dude. It's just the red. We have a try. Uh, I don't think we do that. That was not your look. Yeah. Oh, that was I ate the other one during the game. Too. I also enjoyed it. I could have had CJ! So satisfying. They would go for a week, like, what's the end of the hand power? Or they would be like, oh, fuck this fuck shit. <laughs> close, close, close. Keep trying, 1 5. Cal, you need some more energy drink?